Moving this to this cheating subreddit based on a few responses I got in another sub. Here are all the posts up to today. Post 1 My wife was out tonight after work celebrating a goodbye dinner for a co-worker moving on. I put our kid to bed around 9pm and started to clean up the house. I usually hear from her if she is going to miss bedtime, but she hadn't responded to any of my texts. I try to push any anxiety I had about it out of my head and focus on housework but the more time passes, the less I could keep the anxiety away. About 10.30 I hear a ding while coming back inside from taking out the trash. My wife works at home in a home office on the bottom floor of our three-story townhouse. Normally we never look at each other's stuff, but since she hasn't returned my calls or text I decided to snoop. The ding came from her laptop that she left open on her desk and is synced with her phone. I saw the texts I had sent as well as a text from a contact titled, Sarah, that read, are you up? I scrolled up to look at their conversation and it wasn't Sarah. I read lewd texts sent back and forth from her and the contact and then I came across a video of her sucking cock. My world melted a bit. I walked out of the room at first but then came back to it. I watched the video trying to see if I knew who the guy was but I couldn't figure it out. The video was taken at our house from the very office I was watching it in. I scrolled up some more and read several messages about how he needs to be inside her and her responding how much she needed him as well. After a bunch more of those messages I came across a video sent to her, and it was her getting fucked, his POV fucking her raw and doggy until he puts the phone down to come. I have been into cuckolding before but strictly is a kink to get off, but mostly it's been years since I visited any subreddits around the topic. I never wanted that to be my real life. However, when she came home I acted like nothing was wrong. She acted normal as could be but all I could think about was her lips wrapped around the stranger's shaft. She's been asleep for two hours next to me but I can't sleep I finally picked up my phone and wrote this out hard as a rock. Post 2 This may not be the most fun post to read on this sub, but I just wanted to update everyone on how I'm doing and what I've been thinking. The roller coaster of emotions has been overwhelming. I feel like I'm going crazy with all the thoughts and feelings flooding my head the past few days. I haven't given any hint to my wife this weekend I know. I'm paralyzed on how to proceed. I have been spending the little free time I've had, weekends are busy, on the adultery subreddit for information about divorce and how to protect myself and my parental rights. It has been a great resource for me to learn about the process and how to protect myself financially and my parental rights. This cuckolding subreddit has been a confusing place for me. On the one hand, I'm hoping that I can salvage my marriage and come to agreement with my wife that works for both of us. But on the other hand, I'm wondering if I'm in denial that I want this, and really I'm just struggling to process what is happening. I have found comfort in talking to others on the subreddit who have been cheated on and have chosen to get into cuckolding. They have shared their experiences and have helped me try to figure out how I can make it work for me. Some background on our relationship and sex life. She provides very well for us financially and in turn I try not to let her lift a finger at home. I focus on meeting her needs and helping her with her work stress. She's always very appreciative and affectionate towards me. I do believe she loves me. As far as our sex life goes, things seem perfectly fine from the outside but we had fallen into a routine where I would focus on pleasing my wife almost every time without me getting off. I was comfortable with this because my childhood trauma around sex makes me anxious when I'm vulnerable. When she is focused on me I feel extremely vulnerable and shut down. If I just focused on her then I'm in control and okay. In hindsight, I can see where my wife would have felt stuck in this dynamic. I'm now sure she wasn't getting any of the satisfaction of pleasing a partner because I wouldn't let her. She's always told me that she was okay with my issues and loved me anyway. Anytime I got anxious about not being able to relax, she would just minimize it and say something like, I'm getting off I'm happy. The biggest reason I think this is our main issues is when I watched the video of her sucking his cock. She looked so happy being able to suck the cock of someone who wasn't so anxious and focused on their own orgasm. I felt relieved that someone could enjoy her talents. It looked like she was very tickled with herself with her ability to make him come. I really think cuckolding could work for us. It is a way for me to explore my vulnerability without feeling like the pressure is on me. But I am hesitant because I want to make sure I'm not trying to avoid the problem instead of actually solving it. It seems like this is a win-win-lose situation. My wife is winning because she is getting her needs met and she is keeping our marriage stable by finding a man to play with. 
I am winning because I don't have to worry about sex anymore. But I am losing because I still worry that I'm not as desirable to her, and the anxiety of vulnerability still clouds my experience. I'm still figuring out what I want to do and how to proceed. I plan on trying to get on her computer again tomorrow if I can. Post 3 sad face today. Yes, you can be upset about something and turned on at the same time. I'm currently sitting on what my first move will be, but I'm feeling things out and will push accordingly. The fun stuff I know people want to hear first. I definitely have picked up many more patterns and can see how she conceals her cheating. She takes showers and baths with her phone, watching YouTube, but now I can see how she never wants to leave her phone unattended. I remembered about a year ago she was showing me something on her computer and in the address bar when she started typing it auto-filled in how to hide apps without deleting. She found the webpage before I could read it fully. I asked her about it, and she said she wanted to hide Instagram from herself, so she didn't spend so much time on it. Very believable, but now I'm not sure that was the reason. She may have a Snapchat I don't know about. It seems careless to use a message, but maybe she got reckless? Late night gym sessions. She routinely can work late when out at a client's office, but what is suspicious is that she used to always say she wanted to go to the gym before heading home, even if it was 8 or 9 p.m. She said she didn't want to bring her stress home, and going for a run on the treadmill and a shower cools her off. Now I think she probably was fucking someone and covering her tracks. I looked up the toll tag and did my best to match up dates with what she told me she was doing. They didn't all match. One day, she drove an hour away when she said she was just in the city over under 10 miles away. I have text to back it up. Laundry. We do our own clothes, but I sorted through her laundry today and found some suspicious marks and smells. I don't know if I'm imagining now, but was worth noting. I think she has been fucking multiple people based off of these clues, toll tag locations, time etc. The guy that used her a message I bet is someone we know or she knows on a friend level or work level. I would bet she doesn't prefer to use that method, so maybe it was a client she worked with. I'm still trying to figure that out. The reason I think it's multiple guys is because Friday night I scrolled up to the top, and this guy only has texted with her from the past month, and the suspicious behavior has been going on over a year. So those are some things I've put together since finding out she was cheating. I'm not particularly upset or feel disrespected. I just want to understand what she is getting that she can't get with me. If I'm honest with myself, Uncovering some of the patterns of her cheating and imagining what she was doing with different people is a huge turn-on. When I found out she drove an hour away, I just imagined them getting a hotel and fucking all day. Now to address some comments. I don't want this to be an argumentative post, but I want to address some things. One yes cheating is a disrespectful act, but why she is cheating may not mean she disrespects me. I feel it has a little to do with me and more to do with her. Human behavior is complicated, and it's very rarely a black and white answer to, I love my wife, and I believe she loves me. I know we are having a major communication breakdown around sex, but we both come from a conservative Christian background and sex is always difficult to talk about with each other. Would I wish she told me what she needed? Yes, but my best guess based on information I know is that she didn't know she wanted what she is getting with this guy until it happened. I'm not sure how they started, but I'd be surprised if she knew what she was looking for before she found it. Like I said of Oge, probably not the first guy, but I imagine that is how it first started. 3. I think she is protecting me. When she is unhappy about something, I tend to take it personally and blame myself. I can't imagine how hard it would be to communicate to me, you don't sexually satisfy me anymore, I don't blame her for taking the easier route. I can understand why she wouldn't tell me, if it's meaningless sex and she doesn't want to hurt me but protect the relationship, or if it happened unplanned the first time and then she couldn't stop but doesn't want a divorce. 4. Knowing my wife, I think it's something that just naturally started happening. She is very strong in her logic, but not very emotionally aware. That isn't to say she doesn't have emotions, she has a lot. It's that she isn't the most aware or capable of communicating them. When stress builds up and needs don't get addressed, she tends to blow up in anger, sadness, etc. Then it passes. If it was sex, then it may have blown up with finding a sexual release that was better than what I could provide. Dot or easier or new. Lots of reasons to seek different partners. 5. Reading her text messages didn't lead me to thinking she was in love. It was sex focused, and he honestly is into her more than she seemed to be him. He texted her much more than she replied. 
Those are a few bullet-pointed things to address that I needed to address. I do think cuckolding could work for us, but we need to establish that it is safe for her to tell me how she feels around her sexual desires outside our relationship first. Then maybe we can talk about what to do with it. If we can get there I think it may be an option for us. If she tells me she doesn't love me anymore or not attracted to me then I agree I need a divorce. TLDR I found two videos on my wife's computer using her message of her having a sexual relationship with an unknown man. It turned me on, but also makes me concerned and worried. I'm contemplating what to do, but really want to figure out a way to stay married.